only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried. Real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. Welcome back. It's the Slate Lace Podcast. We hope you guys are doing well. Uh, back at it again here with another episode. I'm um, going to give you guys some sneaker updates. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to go Slate Rate One Shoe that we talked about, so we're going to get into that. Okay. Um, and then that way you guys can decide for yourselves if you're going to go after it, if you think it's affordable. Um, but that's going to be completely up to you guys. Um, so let's get into it with a quick story time. Uh, Blair, is there anything you missed out on recently? Because I know there's um, something I missed out on. You kind of steered me the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I already know. Nah, that surprised me. I'm, I already know where you're going with it, <laughs> but, but it, did, it did surprise me. Uh, <laughs> um, I know what I think it was probably about a week and a half ago now that um, I was posting, you know, um, on IG how uh, I was up all night basically trying to go after the uh, the Yeezy Bread 350. Yep. Um, and you know, like I said, all year I have been talking about it. <laughs> Um, so I'm literally just staying up the whole night, like, uh, me and my friend and we're like texting each other, like, yeah, man, you just gotta be ready. <laughs> you know, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. And then we go on easy supply at six in the morning and it just has you in this waiting room, but it's like, you're frustrated when you're in the waiting room and you know, you want to hit refresh, but it like literally tells you do not hit refresh or you'll lose your place oh, in the really? line. Yeah, oh, and it's like, but what place am I in the line, right? Am I like number two million? You know what I mean? Like, where where am I oh, at in this line? Snap. And they don't tell you. And so we're just we're just sitting there, right? And like, I try to open up another window on a different app, you know, trying to see um, if I can get lucky there. And I'm like not getting lucky. And it's like 30 minutes in and I'm like, dude, these shoes have to be sold out. But it's literally showing you all the sizes available and it's like a full size run. Yeah. And then uh, like 50 minutes go by and like uh, it's slowly dwindling away. And then eventually they run out of my size. And I'm just like, well, there, there it goes. Right. But I had signed up for raffles also because I was like, well, you know, maybe I can get lucky somewhere. And, yeah. and I lost out on end. And I think it's like one block down and like a couple others where I, I was losing out. And they emailed me and told me I didn't get lucky. Um, and then I missed out on finish line because I couldn't get in their waiting room. I missed out on like, um, uh, Dick sporting goods and like a whole bunch of other places. And then, so then I finally go to bed and it's like eight in the morning or seven thirty in the morning. And I wake up at nine because they basically said about eight thirty, they'd announced the winners for Adidas. Um, and then I woke up at nine and I found out I won. You got the breads? I got the breads, yeah. Yeah, I did. I got Yo, lucky. this is shocking to me. He didn't it's tell me It's shocking. Either. It's shocking. Yeah, You really I know. got the bread? You really... got it off a of raffle. Hey, this is a, fir- a slate list first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's crazy, we ain't got right? nothing off raffle. Right? <laughs> it's crazy. I know. Hey, that's nuts. So that's an unboxing we got coming up then. Yeah, yeah. Well, they are, they're already here. I just, I just... We'll unbox it next podcast, okay. though. That's um, crazy. Yeah. I, c- I couldn't believe it. And all my friends that were up with me that night, too, and we were trying to go after it, they, they, like, they took L's. Hey, this is disrespectful. So I'm, hey, the only one that actually, I'm the only one that actually won. I know. That's crazy, huh? This fool want to talk trash about how he never I never win. do. This is just, it's unprecedented. What do you want me to do? This is bad, man. This it's is, crazy. It's now crazy. Now it looks like I'm the only one that be taking L's. Don't ever say you with me. In this L world, because I'm the only one that really be out here losing. But but anyways, I'll see y'all spring break, you know, because like I said, I'm gone to the... To, but you got it, the, though. You went out I on did a get dub. Em. But I did get it. How them. you go out on a dub? That's I went out on a dub. And for retail, you got to love it. You got to love it. That's messed up, yo. I'm hot. But good, though, because you've been waiting yeah. for that one. Yeah, all year, for That's real. Crazy. More than years. I've been waiting years for this shoe. So, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I saw on StockX they're going at, like, 390 right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, like so minimum. So, it's not horrible, though. No. It's not horrible. No, it's but not. But still, I mean, you caught for the retail. What was the yes, retail? I did. The uh, retail was two, 220 
Okay, so it's not that bad. Yeah, so I mean, I and there's like the shipping's free and everything once yeah. it's from them. So it's like you just only paying two twenty out the door. Man, that's crazy. You really got that. Yeah. Hey, no. slate lace first, y'all. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy yeah it is i still can't believe it either to be honest with you uh well my story ain't so good yeah my bad so blair <laughs> led me astray so as y'all know the nordic blazer drop Ooh, man and um i was like all right this is a cool looking shoe as you guys saw in the last podcast mm -hmm. i definitely wanted to go after it um so I tap in. A, they dropped at seven. Yes, they did. I was on around but seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that I try to take my time and leisurely get on there. I do try to get there right at the start time. But again, I'm busy in the morning, so I can't really just be on my phone all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed around like seven fifteen, seven twenty, seven thirty. Uh, oh, that's getting kind of far. But mm -hmm. still, like around that time that the Nordic had dropped. So I'm like, all right, well, mm -hmm. I'm not rushing because Blair said. They're not really going to, you know, sell out all quick. Uh, yeah. Every size in that Nordic blazer was gone. Yeah. Um, and I think they sold out within minutes. Yeah, they, so they did. So everybody was feeling the same way I was and copped that shoe. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty disappointed. And I was, like, about to text Blair, like, okay, I thought they wasn't going to. They was yeah. going to sit. No, people like their blazers, to be honest. But and then that, that colorway was also just super dope. It, it was crazy because I went on the app, like, I think... I think it was probably like an hour after it dropped and I was just looking because, you know, like I said, now I've been trying to cop to be able to sell, you know, just to try to make some money. And so I went on and it was gone and I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, huh. I was like, you don't say I was like, I, I sure hope she got her pair. Nope, I sure, didn't. sure didn't. <laughs> went ahead and took that out. That's what I got. You know, I was like, He's like oh, maybe she got it. No. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But I, I bet you that resale is probably not even so, crazy. So, you know what the great thing is? The resale is a joke, and it's only going for $100. So. Yeah, yeah. see, it's just people people steal them mm -hmm. with the intent to sell, and then they yeah. realize that there's no real value on nope. them. The resale is like one, maybe 130 So Yeah, so I it's only like 20 20 bucks over yeah, basically so, yeah. at about so yeah. i can go ahead and cop that um, yeah if i wanted it. so look it is, it, is, it is what it is it's, it's peace of mind you know look now you're trying to flip it to <laughs> find the bright side uh, there is there's always a bright side to everything was there a bright side if you didn't get them bread no nah, yeah yeah bright exactly side. Nah. So, uh i'll probably still cop those because that again like i don't mind paying that resale price and then especially if i get a little healthy bid in it's mm -hmm. not gonna be too bad like so it's still gonna be something I'm a cop, probably unbox here, but still, I was like, oh, I thought they was gonna sit. Nah, them things yeah. were snatched up immediately. That was that was, that was funny. Yeah, uh -huh. that's but, my bad. <laughs> so that's one I missed out on, and mm -hmm. then of course the uh, the duck, uh, the kind of Christmassy colorway. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but you already should you should have known better. Be you should have known that better. That's be a dunk. Yeah. And then it was on like in like skate shops that were mm -hmm. only like online. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like obscure the release, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not really, really trying to do all that kind of work. Like, yeah. and then honestly, the resale isn't too bad either. I think they're like at about 390. Yeah, resale. but you still got to remember that Dunk is only like 100, 110 yeah, retail. So, so that's still. Yeah, it's bad, but affordability wise, it's honestly not too bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that right now. But those are something I'll probably keep my mind on. Okay. And try to get those. So Nike, what is it? The Nike Dunk. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a Habibi or something. It should know. already just pop up. It should be one of the first ones because it was uh, the most recent one to release. Yeah, but right, right. yeah, it's just man, it, it it's crazy though. You know this yeah, this yeah, Dunk world astray. that no, nah, it's not that I led you astray. Oh it's no, they're going for five ninety five. So no, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So it actually went up. Yeah, it went up since I last saw. Because when I last saw, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. It was at three something. So they they're going up. So this yeah. is probably one if you want to get them, go ahead and place a bid now. Don't wait too long. Well, yeah, because there's not going to be a restock on that. No. Not for what, like another ten years or something like that. And it's kind of so. like that uh, Air Force story that I had. Like, yeah. just don't wait because it's just going to go up and up. Yeah. So if you want to get your hands on them, I might place a bid now. But you're going to be in the sixes. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in the 600s, mm. and that's, yeah, not looking great. Mm. But it is a great shoe. It's mm -hmm. a great looking it's nice. shoe. It's nice. I think just I think for me, the biggest thing is, is that those shoes only retail for $100 or 110 So the fact that you can profit like plus 400 plus $500 on a shoe like that is crazy. Yep. Because, like, think about it. Sometimes a shoe uh, retail 
is 200 and then yeah. they turn around and sell for six right i mean that's not bad five that's not bad right yeah. plus 300 dollars. but it's like man when you can get a shoe for almost virtually nothing and then guarantee yourself an extra 500 dollars, like you pulling yeah, in that cash man, it's crazy you're thinking like a seller now i see no i, no, I just it's just crazy <laughs> to to me but you know yeah it is what it is i feel you um but let's get into a quick slate rate on the uh adapt bb Mm -hmm. uh, the Jordan 11. Mm -hmm. So we recently found out, you recently found out the retail price mm -hmm. that it's going to drop for. for $500? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and let the people know. 500 500 mm -hmm. Um, As you guys know, we kind of did, you know, a little reaction to that. I like them. Um, I think it's cool, innovative. Mm -hmm. Blair, you thought it was cool, but mm -hmm. not something you would rock. I wanted, yeah, but I also wanted them to, to make, like, some type of change. Like, I always want to see a brand new silhouette. Right. That, you want a little more, biggest thing. little more design, a little mm -hmm. more innovation. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But, but for 500, man, that's. But for 500, that's that's going to be the most talked about, debated thing uh, mm -hmm. with the shoe. So let's get into the slate rate, Blair. One Ooh. to five on affordability. I already know where you're going with this. Man, well, if I gave 0. 0.5 to shoes that were like 300, I mean. Did I, you give 0. 0.5 to 300s? I think I did. I did. You probably did. You out here tripping with these ratings. Yeah, so I can't. We're talking about like 0. 0.2. As far yeah, as for I don't even know how to be doing that math, so go ahead and bump it up to point five. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It's point two on that, and it. <laughs> and, like, and, I'm, but not, I'm not thing. a numbers girl. Here's the, but here's the thing, right? Like that, like as much as we sit here and laugh about it, that is realistic. You cannot expect anybody to cash out and spend nah. five hundred dollars on a shoe. That shoe is for people with money, celebrities, people that potentially can have access to that shoe, right? Like. Like if you're like a sneaker head and you know you have like some cash like on the side or things like that and you don't have kids, like you pull the trigger on things like that. But that is absolutely absurd. I don't care what you put in it. Yeah. Unless that shoe can make you fly, make you run faster, jump higher, <laughs> you know. Shout out to our intro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shout out to the PF Flyers, right? Like yeah. if it doesn't do anything like that. If it like ain't a that, PF Flyer. <laughs> yeah, if it ain't if it ain't doing any of that, then there's no reason why that, that shoe should be five hundred dollars. Yeah. You know? And so that's my thing. So it's point two on that and then as far as uh the whole originality and, and, no, and style, style yeah. goes. I was thinking of movies, the way style yeah. goes, I'm just gonna mm, it's a three. So it's three point two. Three point two. All right, mm -hmm. out of ten. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh, you only gave it a three on sale? Okay. Um, for me, affordability is a one. Um, that's a joke. 500 is just too much. But again, mm -hmm. for what people are shelling out for shoes these days, I think a one is fair. Um, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's not, not fair that we make consumers pay that much, but. Right. That's what I'm saying. Resale is, is, is different. I understand if it's 500 resale. Yeah, but 500 but retail. retail? Can jump, which means it can jump to what? Seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't yeah. getting it then. It'll, it'll be funny to see it not even have any resale value and it becomes that's a straight brick. And that's everyone that cashed out to, to think stupid. that they're going to go make 1500 and then end up having yeah. to get rid of it because under retail. Whew. That's what I'm thinking. That's where mm -hmm. my head was going. And because people are thinking it's going to be the uh, air mag. It ain't going to be no air mag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyways. That's innovative. Yeah. Back to my rate. Uh, one on affordability. And then I give it a four on style. Um, again, mm -hmm. I like these. Uh, I mm. like the color. I think it's innovative. I'm feeling them. It's just, I don't know if I'm going to go after them. So that's a five out of 10. Again, it's just middle of the road. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of what I feel about them. Like, I like the design, but it's not something I'm like itching to get af right, go after. Right. So mm -hmm. if I miss them, I miss them. If I don't, I don't. If I come up on some money, then I'll get yeah. them. That's just where, really where I'm at with it. I don't know. Uh, Blair, what you thinking? You gonna go after him? Um, I need to see where resale is at. Cause if I go after him, it's strictly cause I need to make some money. Um, outside he might be selling of, it to me. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna cop and I'm gonna buy him off. Out, outside of that, though, I have no intent to to actually get him. Like if I if I genuinely go after him, I'm going after the size that has the most value. So I may be going after like the size six or something like that. Mm -hmm. Size seven. Little foot gang. Little foot gang, you yeah. know? I feel you. But yeah. Um, anyway, switching gears to releases. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I want to get your thoughts on, because I don't know. I'm kind of feeling them, mm -hmm. but I don't know how you feel. Uh, is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Oh, yeah, I'm going after These them. are dropping on a... Uh, you going after to keep or no, to sell? To, to sell. 
So you don't you do not feel them for yourself? Uh, no, I do think they're clean. Uh, the the other ones that came out earlier too are clean too. The ones that are the what is it, like the red, white, and blue. I thought the red was still coming out Thursday as well. No, there there is. That's a that's oh a the reds one. already. Oh, these are ones I'm. Yeah, yeah. About. There's some. There's like a red, white, and blue that oh, that are out right now okay. too. Those are pretty. Those are pretty clean. Yeah. But uh, for me, these are all strictly purchases to sell. So let me go over so you guys know. Uh, the Nike Sakai Vapor Wapple that's dropping on Thursday mm -hmm. uh, at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. is in that green kind of Oregon Ducks colorway mm -hmm. with the yellow, which reminds me of something we got to touch on next. Okay. Um, it's the green and yellow upper. And then the one that's dropping on Monday, which I'm going after, so y'all don't need to go after this one. I'm going uh, after him. So we both going after him. Well, one person's got good luck, and, the, <laughs> and someone else ain't going to get them, and that's me. Uh -huh. um, and then the one dropping on Monday is the colorway I'm more interested in, which is a more maroon upper with, like, clear, uh, or what is that, like, beige, or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, upper. And then, like, the green. It's clean. It's the clean. I'm not, even, I'm not even going to lie, but, but... I'm going after to keep, not to sell. They're mm -hmm. dropping for 180 so mm -hmm. let's go ahead and slate rate that real quick. Uh, both vapor waffles are going at 180, right? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, they're both going at 180. Yeah. So, I both, and I think they're both clean on feet mm -hmm. too. Um, I'm not sure about that extra sticking out at the back. That's the only knock on it for me, really. Yeah, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Like, let's chill a little bit. Let's relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you, we'll throw up a picture, but there's like an extra kind of material, rubber material that sticks mm -hmm. out on the back of the mm -hmm. shoe. Mm -hmm. But not but but, but all that. the Sakai's are doing that though. Yeah. So I'll give them that that they they're staying true to what they do. It's a little weird, but you know. It is what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but Blair, one to five on affordability at 180. Um, that's about. That's a oh, that's tough. What do I usually give a 180? I think I usually get that I feel like, like you a go two to three. I think it's like a two. Yeah. yeah. So as far as that goes, I'll give it a two on affordability. Stop. No, I'll give it two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half as far as affordability goes. As far as style goes. Um. Look stumped. <laughs> yeah. I want to say. <laughs> what? Nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, but it's not like that nice, right? Like, yeah, it's not I'm like a, you. it's not for nice. I'm you, with you. I'm right there with you. You know what I mean? It's not for nice, but it's, uh. Okay, you don't pick a number. <laughs> I'm going to give it a three. Okay, so you got it. You uh, said five. I got it at five and a half. Five and a half out of ten. Okay, mm -hmm. that's about fair. Mm -hmm. uh, one to five affordability for me. You gave it a what? A two. Two and a half. All right, I'm gonna go three. Okay. And then style. I'm with Blair. It's like I want them for some reason, but mm -hmm. like they ain't a four. Like you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like for some reason I want right. the shoe, but I'm like it ain't that dope. Like yeah, it, it's. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with it. Yeah. And, and don't like, don't don't get me wrong. Like. Trust me, the world loves these shoes. They're yeah. gonna, everyone is gonna, gonna go sell after out, these. Yeah. It's a know? weird shoe. It's like, yeah, I don't know why I want them because I wouldn't even rate them at a four. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna go six okay. out of ten. Um, six out of ten. That's but clean. yeah, it's a funny shoe where it's yeah. like you want it but you don't know why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, because they're they're dope, but it's like it ain't fire. They're <laughs> like, interesting to yeah, say the least. Yeah, it's just yeah. a unique looking shoe. So mm -hmm. that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, so 6 out of 10 and then a 5.5. Mm -hmm. So, again, middle of the road. You mm -hmm. guys pick uh, not not too bad mm -hmm. uh, on your pockets. And then the resales, no, not the resale bad. probably will be bad. The resale will be bad. Because everybody And I need it to be shoot. bad. And I need to get my hands on them. This guy thinking like a seller now. It's a sad Got day. to. Got to. Um, let's get into these Air Jordan 13s that are dropping on Saturday. Um, I'm not a 13 fan. Blair, you're more of a 13 fan than I am. I am a 13 fan. Black Man, it's Royale. it's one of the first ones I've ever had. Yeah, Black mm -hmm. Royale is dropping. So that's a mm -hmm. mainly black upper oh, with yeah, the royal non -OG. blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, non-OG dropping for 190 Um I mean, that's standard retail for a 13. So It is? Okay, mm -hmm. standard. So get your hands on them if you want them. Um, mm -hmm. Not something I would go after. I would never rock a 13 ever in life. <sighs> That's too bad. That's too bad. They're not even, they're heinous. Uh, don't, don't. Like, we're not going to just sit here and do a podcast and you're going to slander 13s all day, do. every day. That's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? We're not going to be Anytime we cross that. a 13. We're not, we're not here for that. So continue with the segment. Um, What's up? Anytime we come across a 13, I'm just not going to like them. 
Um, let's get into something else that's dropping. Um, did those Jubilee Elevens drop? Because I've been yes, seeing a bunch of hype about those. They did. did you uh, I them? heard. I heard that they sat for a little bit. What? Um, I heard they sat for at least forty minutes. Uh, my friend did go ahead and cop. You and, got him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and he's got him already. Nike be crazy with the shipping. Nike and Adidas. Mm-hmm. No matter so what COVID is, they get that you get your stuff in about a day or two. Okay. Um, yeah. He's got so they dropped up. and he got them. Okay, because I think those were hyped up a mm-hmm. lot. They were hyped up, but I just they were just okay to me though. Yeah, I wasn't feeling them, and I like Elevens, mm-hmm. but yeah, I just wasn't feeling those. Uh, this is interesting though. I think I'm gonna go after these. That's like a reverse flu game almost. They you are. Know? The yeah. reverse flu game, Air Jordan Twelve Varsity Red. Um, that is a suede upper, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Um, that's something I will be trying to go after. The Twelves. Can get a little weird with they're like button. boot, they're booty exactly. So, mm-hmm. when you rock the 12, mm-hmm. you gotta be careful. I feel like shorts, yeah, only to be honest. Yeah, yeah. how you feeling? Because I feel like with some jeans, like some because you know, like most of my jeans flood, I, so they yeah. don't even touch it. Be look, you can get to looking real goofy. I see those in like. Mostly people wearing like distressed jeans and skinny yeah. jeans and stuff with that. But I feel like I see look, that a lot. Look yeah. right. If it hugs the ankle, mm-hmm. don't wear the twelve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if it yeah. hugs it has to be like flared, I feel like. Well, I'm 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 not a twelve guy, to be honest. So Yeah. Um, it's it's just weird. Like you gotta rock them the right way because you can get to looking funny. But I feel like I feel like dad'll really rock some twelves though. Yeah, probably. Um and I'll rock them, but I'm only going shorts. Mm-hmm. Like shorts only with some ankle socks. I would, uh, not ankle socks. Sorry. I, <laughs> please Cur- don't wear ankle socks. Cur- socks. Uh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. No shows. Yeah. Please, please don't. I would. I'd hoop in them though. You know. Yeah, in you some, some twelve, but that's about as far as I would go. Yeah. Um, Blair, you shared something interesting on the story uh, just now. You want to talk about that? The what the Oregon. the Jordan One High uh, Oregon the yeah. off whites yeah. yeah those those look those that look kind of clean tough. those looking kind of clean I was just like huh I I don't know those are kind of fire and as you know yeah. Oregon gets all the Nike stuff all the, all the stuff. exclusive Why? all the player exclusive because Nike's based in Oregon so yep. they be hooking their teams up yes they do the Oregon's Man, if, are if, like some if, the Oregon if, fours are like so sought after aren't they yeah they are yeah they are. If, but I'm telling you, if, if those drop, if I get a pair, I'll start crying on this podcast, man, they, they, they look nice. They yeah. do. Cause I mean, look, I've, I've said before and I'll say it again. I'm not the biggest off white guy, right. but one of the things that off white has going for them are the ones. Yes. Those, those, the ones. those ones high that you, UNC ones. Ooh, them UNCs is fire. Yeah. Them UNC is like, fire. Those ain't no joke. I just be seeing all, all the NBA players. I'm like, beep y'all. Like, <laughs> yeah, y'all really, man. Just got so, numerous pairs. So to see that basically all of the blue parts turn into uh, that type of Oregon green, yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having and those. And it had like hints of yellow in there too, though. Yeah, a little bit of hits of yellow, absolutely. It's 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 hitting. It's uh, mm-hmm. uh did it say what the retail is gonna be? Uh, I would I would imagine like two twenty yeah. two two uh. Yeah, 220. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and slate rate that then. Okay. Um, so, based on the 220 price, we're not sure, but that's what we're going to go with right now. One to five. That's. Now you, 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 you got to go. Yeah, you got to go low. When they go that's low, we go two. high. But as far as like style goes, though, I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four. Four? All right. So, yeah. you got it at what? Six. 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 I almost gave it four and a half, but then I realized it's not like it's not quite legendary, you know. So you just withholding them. I ratings. can't do that. Yeah, because if it's not legendary, I can't give it in the four and a half five. Did you give the kill shot to five? You know, huh? You gave the kill shot to five, didn't you? Uh it's because it's classic, though. Yeah. You know, so that was it's your a first big difference. <laughs> Dishing them out. You was uh, ready for me to give out a ten. Yeah. I'm gonna go uh, 220. Affordability is definitely a three. Mm-hmm. Um, Man, you act like you just ready to pay 220 on the regular, giving it a three like that. But I buy a lot of docs and stuff, and I buy a lot of like the special kind of right, you know, right. extra material docs. So I'm dropping 220. That's normal for me, right? Uh, unfortunately. Um, so that's two, on, or what I say, three on affordability, mm-hmm. and then style. I'm going with the 4.5. Okay. I'm not gonna give it a five because I'm like. 
There's still other off whites yeah. colors that I like. But yeah. and I'm not like a green shoe fan. Yeah, like the UNCs, the UNCs, UNCs would probably five, get like, yeah, it'd get closer to a five. Dude, that is woo, the UNCs is hot heat. Um, so what I give four point five mm-hmm. and three, so like seven point five out of ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's about where it belongs. Um, you know, to the world, it's a ten out of ten, and mm-hmm. they're going after it. And you won't get your hands on these. That's just the reality. Yeah, of the situation. that's the reality of it, though. You know, you can enter all the raffles and do all the stuff that you want to you do. Know, but we bid you luck, uh, <laughs> but you ain't going to get them. If you do win, I Blair hate might, you. though. You know. <laughs> yeah, you talking about you do win, I hate you. You don't win 19 raffles. No, nah, I did not. That was, uh, come on. But any, come on now. <laughs> anything to say before we wrap? What you got? Uh, like I said, I'll see y'all All-Star Weekend. I'll see y'all Spring Break, something like that. You know, the retirement is nice. You uh, really in retirement, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really in retirement. Retire- it's, if, it's, if you it's see temporary, though. It said if you game. see me cop anything at this point, it's strictly to sell. Yeah. You know, strictly I to make you. some money. But but other but than you ain't that, got anything like inexpensive, like just some Air Maxes that you've been wanting, something real cheap, ninety uh, bucks. Nah, because everything that's been coming out, I have like the Air Max ninety fives. I already got those. The okay. OG ones that they showed. I mean. I just posted those the other day on on the on the page of me okay. wearing it. So yeah, I don't. I mean, a lot of the things I've already I've already got. There are a couple that uh, I'm interested in seeing if they're gonna do it. The uh, Nike Challenger OG. Uh, they've talked about those. They've posted those in different colorways. But if I can get the true like original colorway, uh, if that ends up sitting around sixty dollars in a few like what maybe four or five months, yeah. maybe then I could. You know. Um, there's a couple. Yeah, there's like even the Air Max 96 uh, twos. If those like drop in the OG colorway and those come out and they drop all the way down to 60, you know, and it's like five months or six months down the line, maybe I'll cop those. But yeah, I'm, for the foreseen future, it's, yeah. He bids you farewell. Mm-hmm. Um, Good luck to everyone else, you know. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, I'm going after the Vapor Waffle. So, uh, yep, I'm in competition with you. You know. First of all, get out competition. <laughs> get out the comp. You you ain't even me, buying hey, nothing. Me, me, me really and all the sellers. <laughs> I'm really out here trying to buy and wear them. And he's mm-hmm. talking about oh, <laughs> he's gonna flip them. But uh, stay tuned, and I'll let you know if I got my hands on those. It'll mm-hmm. most likely be an L. Mm-hmm. Um, but on that note, it is the Slate Lace Gang. We are signing out. See you on the next episode. <laughs>